like you guys were ready and, and pumped and just ready to go. But obviously some air was taken out after that first INT. Mm -hmm. Then you know, obviously that second one in the red zone right on the goal line. I mean, I mean was, was it just tough for you guys mentally to bounce back at that point? Well, honestly, we just got to be a team that can fight against adversity. No matter when we're down 4-2-0, 2-8-0, we can play. I know we can play back, but we, I have to keep bringing people up on the sideline. We just got to stay positive no matter what the score says. Because Coach Lucky says we don't look at the scoreboard, we play to a standard. Offensively, what do you guys feel has been slipping through the cracks the last two games, and how do you get that groove back that you had against Syracuse, that you had against Howard? Honestly, it starts today at practice, starts tomorrow at practice, just the habits and behaviors, and we've got to stick to it. We've got to hold ourselves to accountable and not point fingers and look ourselves in the mirror. Rutgers, Rutgers defensively, they gave up 52 against Michigan, but what kind of things do they do on D that gives a guy like you nightmares? Uh, they don't really give me no nightmares. I'm not saying you have <laughs> nightmares. I mean, I don't have nightmares. I, at least not this week. <laughs> well, what's the call? I just got to make sure I do my job blocking vertically for my running backs, catching every ball throwing my way. I just got to do my job. And that's what I'm going to focus on, mainly getting back to the basics this week at practice. How, how much of it is on Josh to get back to where he was the first two weeks, or how much of it is on the offense to help Josh get back to where he was? The first Honestly, it's just with the offices to help Josh, because like Coach Montgomery always says, it's all 11 to protect the quarterback. So by running the right routes, the uh, alignment blocking the right um, people, but everything has got to be one cohesive unit. We're going to get back to that, and Josh is going to be back together. Well, I mean, getting back to that, is it tough to keep that cohesion, when, especially along the offensive line? I mean, you know, you've at this point lost the whole right side against Penn State. You don't know what's going to happen this week if guys will be healthy. I mean, does that make it tough? It does make it tough, but we had that 24-hour rule, so all that soaking and being mad, we thrown out the window. And Coach McCormick said, so we uh, go back out there and practice, that film's going to be gone. We're going to get it back. Bye-bye. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call the Jackledge Law Group. We have decades of experience handling truck crashes. We recognize issues unique to trucks, including black box findings and DOT regulations. We find insurance others don't know exists. Some think the only coverage is with the truck, yet we've found millions more insurance with the broker. It's important to collect information, find representation immediately. Truck cases are complex. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1 right now. The light went out with you guys. Uh, not uh, some people. Some eyes they probably did, but we, I just always on the sideline, keeping everybody up. I've been at Buffalo. I've been down before, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I like this experience from that. I have to do a better job as a leader, just to bring everybody up. So we good. We keep going. We do the same thing we've been doing. But did you get a sense a little bit that when it became twenty-one nothing as quickly as it did, it, 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 collectively there was a, there it was almost like the the team sort of put its head down a little bit. But it did put the head down, but it wasn't called. I got to do better, too, as a leader, to make sure we stay and keep our chin up. Mm -hmm.